Arena, taken from the Skydance Bridge in Oklahoma City. That's our setting tonight. And now, before we get to the tip-off, let's find out what Billy Donovan had to Well, Kevin, he's... Thank you, David. And certainly, Chris, a matchup to watch at the center position tonight. What's the key? Oh, motor, right, energy. Ready to go? Who's going to be hitting the boards? Ready to go? Who's going to run down the court? Get that post position. Who's going to communicate with their defense and let guys know what they should expect? Yes. Big play. Now, Sacramento starting five. The Wildcat pair of Cauley Stein and Cousins are down low. A follow is out there with Collison. And it's Gay in at the three spot. Deep and Roberson pulls it down. It would have been something to see if he could hit that shot from that deep. It wasn't the best shot to take there, not even close. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. Oh, yeah, and as a big man, you need such an aggressive move. That's the tone that you want to set, the attitude that you're trying to play with. Your teammates are following. And it looks like he might just be on his A game today, Clark. It's early. He's off to a terrific start. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep his foot on the pedal. Shots good by Gay. Come on, you can't allow Gay to get comfortable from beyond the arc. He really stretches the D when he's nailing that long ball. And Oladipo kicks to Kanzer. Sinks the three-pointer. And how about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. I like that style. Lose three points, hit them right back at the other end. That's good basketball. Man, fantastic chemistry on that plate. You have to admire the unselfishness. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. You know, huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. I mean, we know that this is a game of heart. He knew his man was bigger than him. No big story. He just calmly rose up, altered his body so that he could get the contact and put that... And a moment now to hear from Steven. So, like, the youngest over there has to do... <laughs> Hard to imagine growing up in such a huge family, but it sounds like maybe it prepared him for life in the NBA. Uh, yeah, I'd say it might have toughened him up a little bit, that's for sure. Wow, 18? Uh, that is mind-boggling. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. What stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? You know, they're not going to sit back and just take jump shots. It's all about attacking the paint and getting to the rim. And it's why they're shooting such a high percentage from the floor. They're willing to run the offense all the way through. On the court for the Kings as the second quarter gets underway. Collison is out there with Garrett Temple. Then there's Caspi. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. And it's Barnes in at the small forward position. Doubled by Collison. Three-pointer. Payne's shot is good. And a big play. One three-pointer right on the heels of another. And again, we're tied. And how about this crowd right now? They are bananas. And they can guarantee this is the last possession of the quarter if they hold it. Patience will come into play here for sure. Eat up the clock as much as possible. Elias Sober. That's the buck. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And for three, Collison. Offensive rebound. Kufus dishes to Collison. And the release was before the buck. And the first half. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It's an interesting battle. A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. Nothing seemed to give way on either side of the scoring column as they wrapped up the period all knotted up. The second quarter was a tight battle, but they were... And that'll do it. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Russell Westbrook really making a difference here. And the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense. He was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. Yes, yeah, sound fundamentals. Lots of patience that led to that efficient scoring effort. The Stash Brothers, Cantor and Adams inside. Westbrook and Oladipo, the athletic backcourt duo. And it's Roberson with the three. 
That's Billy Donovan's five as we get going here in the second half. In the six foot, 175 pound college, it was a vital part of this team. A speedy point guard who can get hot in a hurry. Big time basket there on the inside. I mean, he had to get that one up and over the big guy. Whoever says that was an easy attempt right there lies. That was over a massive defender. He somehow guided it over him. And then here's West. Whoa! Good. And you talk about momentum. That sort of action delivers a type of energy to your team that you just cannot quantify. Oh, I'm going to quantify something right now, Greg. <laughs> this is a close game, and that was something special. And that was Kia bringing you the close-up on the big-time play. And, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of player. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, <laughs> didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> and McLemore, he's jacked in for the king. Count that bucket. That's the kind of player McLemore is. He is always thinking of shooting as soon as he gets the ball off the pass. Singler passes to Roberson. Back to Singler. The kick out to Westbrook. To the right side. Collison dishes to sink. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Aflalo. One second left. Oh, and he just knocked. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. And a look at the five for the Kings to start the fourth. Gay and Collie Stein fill up the forward spots. Then McLemore is out there with the front. And it's Cousins in at the five. Sacramento on defense. Westbrook kicks to Roberson. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block. Force him to the line. Garrett Temple has checked in for McLemore. And he ends up making the second. And that gives them the lead. An uneven trip to the line. But they do come away up by one. From outside the arc. Nails the tray. That was massive. Huge play there. You gotta love this game. Here's Westbrook. It's hauled in by the Kings. Okay, they came close there to tying it up. Oh, you just hate to miss out on those kinds of opportunities, especially coming down the stretch. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Yeah, exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. Adams outside. Good! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. And the precision lead pass by a highly skilled player. Collison gets a wide open look from beyond the arc and then some. And even when Collison takes shots from distance, he's more than capable of knocking them down. You have to D this guy up at all times. Time called here. The Thunder decides to talk it over. They trail by three. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And you know what? You've got a couple options here. You can take the three to tie it or get the quick two and then a five. Oh, you're exactly right. But with time remaining, if they get a clean look from distance, I think they have to take it. Here's Cantor. Oladipo outside. The three won't fall. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Uh, yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball. Just milk those five seconds away. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And Cousins stands 6 foot 11, 270 pounds, and plays the game with hard and pass. Time call here of the Thunder decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. Just two seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Well, they'll need a very quick basket out of this timeout. Oladipo. No good. So it's the Kings taking the W in a close one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work 
for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you, but they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Craig Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Hart. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thanks, Kevin. Now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Darren Collison. Darren Collison doing a supreme job of running the show for them tonight. He has sprinter speed almost, and that speed was too much for them to handle. He was confident, and the team was in his control. Listen, Ernie, I don't know if the opposing fans got him riled up or what, but uh, he was out for blood tonight. Shark kill, O'Neal, man. And that's it for tonight, but we've got a whole new NBA season ahead of us. Welcome to 2K Sports. We've got Seska Moscow and Chicago. And so here's Seska. Now a timeout called by Seska. from deep Chicago grabs the miss 